Hello everyone, welcome back to Dentistry and more. Now we are moving on to question paper discussion. So these question papers are listed on a chapter wise uh, basis. These are um, Koha's question papers that is Kerala University of Health Science. So from 2014 to the latest question papers that uh, and last 2020 so by now we finished most of the topics in public health industry so I suggest you to read most of the chapters then come for this video otherwise uh, you will not get uh, many answers so first complete your preparation then come for this question papers so this is the last step just before you are going to your university exam so this should be the last step as a finishing of your preparation so we'll start with the first chapter that is introduction to dentistry so most commonly two questions are asked from this chapter that is functions of DCA and Indian Dental Association so DCA and Indian Dental Association uh, we know uh, DCA uh, you write about a little bit of history how it is formed after the dentist act and can write about the composition then uh, about the functions of DCA um, that is uh, pretty much enough to get uh, 3 marks or 5 marks it is asked only as a short note the second question is Indian Dental Association or IDA so similarly you can write about its history then uh, its composition and uh, its function sometimes questions will be there about the dentist act of India but it is very rarely asked dentist act of India you need to write about uh, very briefly about the five chapters where you can elaborately write about the second chapter that is Dental Council of India the second chapter is about public health so the question is primary health care and the principles of primary health care so you need to write uh, the definition it has uh, two marks so always see the marks distribution the six marks is for the principles of primary health care so there are four principles oh, you know that equitable distribution community participation all those four principles you need to write then uh, describe the chemical plaque control aid actually this question is not to be here this is coming under epidemiology of periodontal disease anyway plaque control we have mechanical plaque control and chemical plaque control you need to list out all the methods and uh, write or elaborate uh, to get a eight marks okay always you need to think of the marks when you're writing if it is a very short answer a short essay or long essay you need to build up the content according to the marks after that we have epidemiological triad we know epidemiological triad agent host and environmental factors you can uh, elaborate with example of uh, any disease then uh, public health and describe detail about the changing concept of public health so we learned concepts of public health and concepts of health so it is always a confusing one health we know biomedical ecological psychosocial and holistic concept whereas the public health it is different we have disease control phase social engineering phase uh, holistic uh, health for all phase so health is about a person and public health is about a group of people okay so don't get confused so here also there is a definition it has two marks okay so this will be around six marks so always uh, think about the parts of a question don't just jump into one side of the question so you might be knowing in detail about the changing concept of public health but if you're not addressing this part you might lose two or three marks so always make sure you address all parts of the question now we have few short notes here 
primary health center natural history of disease germ theory so we have learned in detail about concept of causation so natural history of disease and germ theory comes in concept of causation you need to write elaborate it with examples changing concepts of healthcare this is a very confusing one so we learned about health okay health and public health but the healthcare is a different one the concepts of healthcare are comprehensive healthcare concept the primary healthcare concept uh, and uh, the concept which was uh, started in bor committee so all those concepts are coming under healthcare so this is healthcare how the health is provided this is public health okay and one is health so these three are always get confused healthcare how the government or the how the state is providing health to the public through comprehensive health care or basic health services or primary health care so it all comes under uh, health care delivery system this question is actually coming under health care delivery system okay so don't get confused health care is different health is different and public health is different okay now we are moving to dental public health so here we have the definition of dental public health then the dental public health problems in india so we studied about uh, in detail dental public health problems the tobacco problem the cancer problem so all those you need to write and discuss about the national health program which is associated with dental public health that is uh, the national tobacco control program cancer control program so all those you need to write and don't forget about the definition now we have short notes that is difference between public health dentistry and clinical dentistry we know that uh, the various steps and characteristics of public health method how it is done we know the 6 to 8 steps are there characteristics of public health methods we have learned it in the short note series then duties of public health dentist it is a little bit tricky question duties of public health dentist so you already know how a public um, health dentistry works okay so public health dentist duties are to control the disease of a public okay clinical dentist control the disease of a person so as a public health dentist he needs to uh, educate the people he needs to uh, put forward some uh, programs some plans uh, so that it controls the diseases so you need to think of a group of people rather than an individual so the same thing a little bit modified version you can write here duties of a public health dentist the same problems the same dental problems which affects a person you can think of a group of people and write accordingly then tools of dental public health also we learned the five tools of dental public health the preventive dentistry epidemiology all those things now we are into the chapter water water the most common question is define potable water potable water is uh, a water which is free of microorganisms germs and which is a uh, palatable drinkable water and see this is various methods of purification of water that is we have small scale and large scale okay don't jump into the filtration method you need to write about the small scale and large scale in large scale you can uh, write in detail about the filtration methods and all so small scale we know what are the small scale boiling the potassium permanganate and the chlorine tablets all those things and the last scale we have learned in detail with uh, those so slow sand and rapid sand filtration so read the question paper and read the question in detail give one or two minutes okay it won't be uh, a loss for you because sometimes you might end up writing the wrong answer or end up writing an answer which is not required for that particular question so always read the question properly various methods of purification of water so next in short essays uh, the same question has been repeated the safe and wholesome water is nothing but potable water so safe and wholesome is nothing but potable water and the methods of purification of water at community level 
so here it is asked at a community level that is large scale here it was asking small scale and large scale okay then you need to write about rapid sand filtration so you need to write the definition you need to write about the uh, methods and in detail about the rapid sand filtration uh, you can uh, draw a flow chart or a diagram then the small scale purification of water okay small scale is completely different on a household how you purify water is being asked and the next question is also define potable water uh, purification of rapid sand filters and add a note on backwashing okay then steps in water purification and rapid sand filtration in short notes the expected questions chlorination rapid sand filtration the white layer uh, sorry the vital layer and breakpoint chlorination vital layer has many names schmutzdecke biological layer zoglia layer so any uh, name you can expect breakpoint chlorination the video uh, we have studied you need to uh, draw a picture and you need to write about the 0.5 mg per liter free residual chlorine should be there and the amount to reach a saturation level okay and uh, waste management so in waste management the composting uh, we know anaerobic that is a bangalore method of composting you need to draw a picture you need to write about the specifications and the bangalore method see here the same question being asked as a short essay and short note so you need to write different content or the content should be elaborate for this short essay because this carries 8 marks and this has five or three marks okay so that is bangalore method again composting so composting you can write the aerobic and anaerobic here you can compress your content because it has only three or five marks and write about incineration the types of incineration and methods of solid waste disposal the same question you can write for a long essay 14 mark question but here it is asked just for three marks so you need to compress your content and write it only the major names and specifications is required and categories of biomedical waste all those 10 categories you need to write and little bit about the color coding now we are moving on to the main chapter that is general epidemiology so the common questions are always classify and define epidemiology then sometimes it will be experimental sometimes it will be analytical and sometimes it will be cohort study again experimental uh, again the randomized tra control trial or this experimental is nothing but the randomized control trial in experimental we can have non-randomized also okay again uh, okay uh, so na next question is define epidemiology discuss the host agent and environmental factors affecting dental caries this is we studied in epidemiology of dental caries that uh, triangle or the triangle where the agent host and environmental factors all those things which is associated with dental caries and also you can write about the tetrad tetrad of dental caries so in short notes uh, as we expect the prevalence incidence bias and vital air again see the vital air it is actually from water purification not uh, supposed to be here anyway prevalence incidence you need to write about um, the types of prevalence how we calculate the numerator the denominator all those things we learned in tools of uh, epidemiology and bias so this is a three mark or five mark questions you know a lot of content but compress it and write for the required marks next we are in epidemiology etiology of prevention of tendal caries okay so this is a uh, same question epidemiological trial add a note on time factor this is you need to write about the tetrad of tendal caries and uh, you can uh, mention about Stephen's curve also Stephen's curve and uh, the next question is same question uh, agent and dental caries and again we have uh, 
uh, time factor the same question been repeatedly asked 15 17 and 19 so it might come in 2021 so next question is uh, prevention so prevention of dental caries so we learned individual uh, community and professional level primary level secondary level and tertiary level though that uh, big chart hope you remember that chart how we studied so that things you need to elaborate then we have learned cariogram and Schneider test so caries activity test and this is that pie chart where five colors are mentioned and checking the color of green sector now the epidemiology etiology and prevention of periodontal disease here it is a plaque control so we earlier seen the chemical plaque control here the plaque control methods and also that table how it is prevented at individual community and professional level and short essays uh, it is about the role of toothbrush you need to write about the toothbrush um, detail ADA specification types of toothbrush and also some of the toothbrush techniques and here it is a mechanical plaque control again the toothbrush various types interdental aids and all those things uh, describe the mechanical plaque control and chemical plaque control so as expected question short notes uh, the dental flows irrigators See changing concepts of healthcare. So it is uh, what we discussed that comprehensive healthcare, basic health services, and primary healthcare. It is actually coming in healthcare delivery system, and again chemical plaque control and chlorhexidine. So next question is about oral cancer. So various smokeless and smoking forms of tobacco. We have learned it in the oral cancer epidemiology chapter and also the regulatory approach of prevention of oral cancer so this question you need to write about the COTPA Act how the uh, COTPA Act is being implemented and how it is uh, mm, helping uh, to prevent the use of tobacco then it is a very important chapter that is health education and promotion that is Commonly asked health education, its principles, barriers, and audiovisual aids. Okay, so this has been repeatedly asked. Again, sometimes it will be propaganda, and sometimes it will be individual group and mass approach, and sometimes the principles of health education. And here it is a very interesting question that is prepare a television talk for improving oral health of school children so you need to first write this is a, a applied level question you need to write about the problems a school children might be having such as dental caries uh, so mostly you need to address dental caries and to in order to control dental caries we need to educate them regarding the uh, brushing techniques importance of brushing and how to brush and how to uh, control the consumption of sugars and all those things you can incorporate this is an applied level question you know all the content but only thing is you need to uh, uh, properly uh, manage it and write it so you need to uh, list out the problems uh, they have and how to control it in the form of a uh, talk so you don't need to write a talk it's just like this is what you are going to talk about then you can write as an answer okay this is just a applied level question and again uh, the health education health education discuss uh, various uh, methods of communication again propaganda so the same question means repeatedly asked in short essay the audiovisual aids again barriers in communication and mass media in nutrition and health so it is a very easy one because you need to write about uh, nutrition sometimes it will be nutrition and the epidemiological studies in relation to diet and dental caries we have learned the white form studies toku sugar study uh, and hopewood house study all those studies you need to write about the uh, duration and the outcome okay and the um, year of starting and the sugar substitute those xylitol sorbitol all those things see it is a long essay so the marks are 4 plus 6 plus 4 
so you need to think of those marks and don't write very elaborately uh, distribute it properly and write the important content then short essay also again say uh, classification of nutrients and role of trace elements in dental caries okay so we learned it role of trace elements some are caries promoting like selenium and some are prevention like fluoride and the role of diet in dental caries so you can write in detail about uh, role of diet and also the sugar substitutes now we have school health programs so one question asked was the aims and objectives of school dental health program so you can write about the elements of school dental health program then about uh, the objectives then uh, the most commonly asked incremental dental care and comprehensive dental care so this uh, you need to highlight okay then blanket referral how the student is being blanketed by giving a card from uh, parent to class teacher to dentist okay so that is about school oral health program then the most important chapter fluorides in fluorides mostly expected as one is defluoridation and nalgonda technique then water fluoridation okay the question is different methods of water fluoridation okay so there are two types of fluoridation one is systemic and other one is topical right so here the question is not about systemic fluoridation okay not about systemic fluoridation the question is about water fluoridation so if the question is systemic fluoridation we can write school water fluoridation community water fluoridation salt fluoridation uh, milk fluoridation all those things but the question is just water fluoridation so we have three methods of water fluoridation that is dry feeder solution feeder and saturator system solution and saturated system okay so these three are the methods of water fluoridation so don't get confused the other one is systemic fluoridation this is just water fluoridation okay. again defluoridation and algonda technique defluoridation algonda technique now we have systemic fluorides and write in detail about systemic fluorides so you need to write about the mechanism also so systemic is all fluoridation the community salt milk all those are systemic fluoridation then about dental fluorosis and dean's fluorosis index so you need to write the definition and dean's fluorosis index those uh, categories now we have in fluorosis that std and cld write about the acute and chronic fluorosity uh, fluoride toxicity then we have topical fluorides the apf nuts and technique fluoride varnish all we have learned now we are into the short notes like pit and fisher sealants uh, all those things the steps the generation the material the classification and also preventive resin restoration also we can write preventive resin restoration then we have the ar so in atraumatic restorative treatment the first question was just atraumatic restorative treatment and the next one is just advantages okay so don't just write the advantage person who is putting this question expect you that you write most of the content not just advantages some students might write just advantages of art you need to write about little bit of introduction its uh, instruments its uh, principles and advantages so always try to incorporate more sub content okay rather than writing a single content elaborately you need to write more content the subheading subheading introduction the instruments then the methodology then the principles then indication contraindication just one or two lines is sufficient but bring or include more subheadings so that is a way of writing exam 
you will get more marks when you include more sub more content more subheadings in your answer so it will give you more marks rather than writing a single content in one page or one and a half pages and now we have survey procedures so it is uh, very repeatedly asked question survey the common thing is define survey steps of survey okay so define survey and steps of survey so the six steps uh, you'll be knowing six steps and sometimes about the pathfinder survey and index age groups the who index age groups those 5 uh, 12 15 35 to 44 65 to 44 that and the pathfinder survey the national pathfinder survey and pilot survey and various steps so you need to write in detail because it is commonly asked long question and sometimes uh, the steps in conducting epidemiological survey is nothing but the steps of survey and also in short essay also the same question is asked so this is why i'm saying the same questions will be asked as a short essay and a long essay so you have the same content but you need to compress it for the short essay because you don't have time to write for a long essay because the short essay has just eight marks okay so don't write a lot of content which will waste you a lot of time so always compress the content then write for eight marks because it is commonly asked as a long essay that is 14 mark essay so your preparation or study preparation also will be for 14 marks so the same question is asked here for eight marks see the same question okay so this is 14 mark question and this is eight mark question so you need to write the same content for eight marks but removing a lot of unwanted things there is no unwanted things in an answer but you can just compress it okay in a way that you include most of the things that is age groups you can write about the age groups and the most important striking feature of each age group then the steps okay if it is steps write all the steps don't remove any steps and compress write all the steps and the content of each step you can compress you can write one line or two line so likewise you can compress this answer if you are not compressing it you might lose your time to write the other answers so you need to think of timing always you need to divide the time you have two essays four short essays and ten short notes okay so you need to divide the time and always think about the marks okay don't write whatever you know you write for the questions marks if it is asked for three marks and you know about the topic for 15 or 14 marks don't write the entire thing just write for three marks so in short notes uh, it is uh, pathfinder survey uh, index age group and the most important thing is sampling the probability sampling and non probability here it is asked just sampling methods so you need to write probability and non probability don't write the entire thing list out the main things and write the most striking feature of each one okay so you can write the sampling methods for 14 marks but this is asked just for 5 marks so compress the 14 marks to 5 marks just include most most important factors and also training and calibration of examiner we already learned it how uh, the training and calibration is done and uh, why using capacity statistics uh, during the pilot study and all now we have planning and evaluation so planning and evaluation mm, so planning is uh, not asked here only evaluation the steps so you can write about the steps of evaluation or the types of evaluation and planning uh, sometimes planning will be asked or planning will might be asked as a long essay like uh, conduct a plan for a school uh, to reduce the dental caries or conduct or a plan a program for a city to reduce dental caries so such plans you need to write uh, the each step of the plan then elaborate okay so how i explained you in that 
uh, chapter you can elaborate and write about so this is just evaluation you can write about formative summative evaluation and the other details now the indices indices are very important in our practical sessions <clears throat> so most commonly asked so always there will be definition of index ideal properties the ideal characteristics of index that will be there so the most important things are russell index cpitn index then oral hygiene ohi index or sometimes dean dean's fluorosis index is already asked we have seen in one of the question paper so ohi dmft russell's index and dean's fluorosis index so always when question asked you need to write uh, definition and ideal requisites if classification is asked you can write that also short notes dmft and ideal requisites so healthcare delivery system so the uh, we have seen uh, the concepts of healthcare the primary health center all those things are coming in this chapter also and uh, the principles of primary healthcare so everything so so this is uh, dental healthcare delivery system actually we were learning the healthcare delivery system okay the common healthcare delivery system so the problem is uh, as i mentioned in that video the at a grassroots level or a primary uh, level we don't have much dental healthcare system because the primary health centers are under equipped less than 20 percentage of the primary health centers as a dentist so you need to write that also but you need to list out all the things as how it is in our country then you can write about the healthcare delivery systems in respect to the dental uh, sector so the three tiers of uh, health health system that is primary level secondary level and tertiary level of uh, rural health uh, system is what asked here now we have very important chapter that is a dental manpower so auxiliaries auxiliaries we have operating non operating auxiliaries so anything which can be asked as a sub question that is dental therapist or uh, dental hygienist or a school dental nurse or expanded function uh, auxiliary or even uh, levels of supervision so in our country we have only we know dental hygienist and lab technician okay these two we have lab technician and dental hygienist is what available in our country so dental manpower also is very important so always study define classify then about a sub topic in each that is uh, operating or non operating then comes the finance it is the most toughest chapter in public health industry so it is mechanism of payment you can list out all the mechanism from uh, the uh, payment uh, direct fee for service till the public health programs and including uh, indian scenario so don't mention in detail about anything so this is mostly uh, listing out all the things and you can write one or two lines uh, the user mechanism hmo prepaid groups the capitation plans the delta dental plans blue cross blue shield medicare medicaid indian system what is is present in india uh, the esa plan cghs plan and all those things you can mention and beginning you can uh, mention about the uh, fee schedule and co insurance all those things so if it is asked as a short note uh, you can write about the health maintenance organization the insurable risk insurable risk that uh, five principles uh and how do we manage the health insurance people manage to overcome this like pre authorization giving expenditure limit so when an in a risk is insured there are certain criteria it should be beyond the control of individual all those things you need to write in insurable risk and how the insurance people that is health insurance people overcoming this then the capitation fee the 90th percentile when you write 90th percentile always draw that graph and mark that 90 percentile okay value and post payment plans that is also known as budget payment plans then finance in dental health service so in india we have just uh, uh, payment direct payment that is fee for service and then we have few insurance schemes like cghs uh, then the esi plan or railway employees so very very minor health insurance schemes mostly the direct fee for service third party arrangement is uh, uh, completely absent 
in India. It is mostly uh, we studied about the uh, United States. Now the research methodology, uh, the biostatistics and all. So this is a confusing question. What is research and as explain the steps in research methodology? This is nothing but the survey. Okay, this just write the survey steps. Actually, research methodology has a uh, little more different steps. But if you don't know the research methodology steps, it's nothing but survey. Survey is nothing but the research. Survey is a descriptive methodology to collect data. But ultimately, in research also, we are doing the same. So, various methods of presentation of data. So, those pie chart, bar diagram, bar graph, and the sampling techniques, methods of collection of data we learned and the methods of presentation of data. So, in biostatistics, most commonly asked, uh, again, the presentation of data, uh, the normal curve, measures of central tendency, dispersion, or again, the sampling. Okay. Now, there is uh, infection control, and regarding the uh, dental office that is place and locality that we have learned in our short notes uh, how do we select the equipment for dental practice place and locality of dental practice all those things we learned in our short note series and regarding the ethics so ethics is most commonly asked short note autonomy confidentiality ethical principle or types of consent and what are the unethical practices at the end of the chapter we learned how the unethical practices and what are the fines for it and health organization most commonly asked uh, World Health Organization or WHO then uh, we have again the maintenance of records types of examination that comes in survey chapter type 1 2 3 and 4 it is complete examination limited survey and screening then public private partnership it is uh, PPP the how the uh, health programs are implemented in a public private partnership so not all the fund is uh, provided by the government the fund will be collected from the uh, public also and group practice it comes in our finance okay so that's all about the question paper discussion so we were seeing the public health dentistry question papers of Kerala University of Health Science for the year 2014 to 2020. I think uh, 70 to 80 percentage of the questions every year will be the repeated ones of previous years. So don't always uh, think of 50 percentage you need to aim uh, 80 or 70 to 80 percentage so you come for this revision only after uh, studying most of the topics otherwise it won't be much helpful and keep this revision as your last stage of preparation just before the exam okay so once you have gone through most of the topics then you need to see this video to understand the pattern of question and how to write the answers so it's not about uh, studying a lot of topics it is uh, it depends mostly on how you transfer the content to the paper so it is basically a memory based exam so you need to score 50 percentage so always think about that rather than studying a lot of content so whenever you're studying a topic Think about how you are going to write the same topic to a paper. So always uh, frame the content in your mind when you get the question paper and never write the extra content or write the under content like don't write uh, a lot of content for 8 mark question and don't write a compressed content for a 14 marks. So always see the question in detail what are the divisions of question and uh, then you need to write uh, the definition and if there is any subsection of the question always address most of the content that is a subheadings of a question so that will give you more marks so 
I want to tell you about the time factor. So you have three hours to write 16 question. So always think about uh, where to put more time that for long essays and short essays. But you don't uh, uh, miss any short notes because uh, writing short notes will give you easy marks. So if you don't write two short notes and you are utilizing the time for a long essay that will be a big mistake because uh, writing a lot of content for a long essay will not give you uh, any additional marks you might get uh, 9 10 11 uh, out of 14 but at the same time if you are putting those extra minutes into those short notes you will definitely get uh, three or four marks even if you don't know answer so three or four marks for two short uh, questions might sometimes it might be the deciding factor so anyway so always uh, think about the exam pattern and study so even though this public health industry is a tough subject a dry subject not so uh, student friendly subject uh, scoring a 60 70 marks it's not very uh, a tough one so you can easily score it only thing you need to uh, structure your answers in a uh, systematic way so include more subheadings and include more flow charts uh, make it more uh, make it a, a more um, presentable so the answer should be uh, in a flow chart or any other diagrammatic way rather than uh, bulking up the pages with uh, big big paragraphs so always uh, uh, innovate your answers so uh, those uh, little tricks will give you more marks. So I wish you good luck with your uh, public health industry exam. Thank you so much.